Get ready for a tidal wave of news straight from the Miami Dolphins headquarters. We're diving deep into the trade game, where the Dolphins are navigating some intriguing possibilities that could reshape the team's future. Trading players is like maneuvering through choppy waters, especially when your assets aren't exactly top tier. The Dolphins find themselves in this predicament now, with limited options, but plenty of speculation swirling around potential moves. Let's zoom in on Eric Izukama. Sure, he's brimming with potential, but he's still in the proving grounds. Sending him packing wouldn't exactly yield a treasure trove of picks, perhaps just some late-round gems in the 2025 draft. Most of our prized players are locked into hefty contracts or recently pinned extensions, further complicating any potential trades. Now, Jalen Waddle? He's not just a rising star, he's a cornerstone of the franchise. Chris Greer has made it crystal clear, Waddle is untouchable. Jalen Phillips, on the other hand, comes with a caveat, his injury history makes him a risky proposition for any potential suitors. This leaves us with one main trade chip, Jevon Holland. Holland's upside is undeniable, and he could fetch us some valuable draft picks. However, his impending salary demands might not align with our financial strategy. Tough decisions lie ahead, especially with Waddle and Phillips eyeing contract extensions down the line. Picture this scenario. We snag a top-tier safety in the draft, like Cooper DeJean. Suddenly, Holland might become expendable. It's a tough call. Do we invest in Holland's potential, explore trade scenarios, or roll the dice and hope for a solid return in free agency? Greer has been effusive in his praise for Holland, but he's also been playing it close to the vest regarding trade talks. Perhaps he's keeping his cards close to his chest, not wanting to reveal his hand to other teams or Holland's agent. But let's get down to brass tacks. Holland is our main trade asset right now. While Tua, Austin Jackson, and Tyreek Hill all have value, they're firmly entrenched in the team's plans for now. Tua's our franchise quarterback, Jackson's locked in, and Hill's price tag is astronomical. So, will Miami pull the trigger on a Holland trade? It's unlikely. And frankly, they shouldn't. With Waddle and Phillips poised for extensions, locking down Holland seems like the prudent move. Even if we draft a safety early on, it shouldn't alter our game plan significantly. There you have it, folks. The Dolphins are playing the long game, and Holland's a crucial piece of the puzzle. Let's see how this season unfolds, but one thing's for sure, the excitement in Miami is reaching fever pitch. Stay tuned for more updates and fins up.